what we've been doing in TEDCOR, which are um, guidelines for sorting and guidelines for recycling. Why do we want to do that? For textile, for textile, okay? Because uh, there is a mandatory eco-design requirements, fiber to fiber recyclability, uh, which has been required by the Commission, okay? Transparency, obligations for reuse and recycling. Labels identifying is coming also. Environmental footprint for textile. Okay, packaging it was difficult, but textile it will be even more difficult. And uh, ban on destructions. We will not be able to send the material to Africa anymore. So ban on destruction. This is what all they are um, elaborating in Brussels. And of course, the obligation of EPRs to help the collection, the sorting, and the recycling of polyester textile. In fact, it's all textile, but PECOR is mainly polyester. So this is what we concentrate on. Now, um, the group is composed of 15 chemical recyclers, which is a lot. I think we have 80 or 90 percent, maybe 100 percent of all the chemical recycles uh, recycled in, 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 in Europe for textiles. And of course, we have three mechanical recycling recyclers also. But we think that mechanical recycle represent only five to seven percent of the waste stream. The rest is colored. The rest is mixed with elastan, with, with polyethylene, with polypropylene. So it will be extremely difficult to separate and recycle. Only depolymerization can do it. And this is what and I would like to show you something. This is what we would like to do for this guideline for recycling, is what to do and not to do. And, and this is a red light, as you can see, a red light. We invented that red light. Can you see it well? We invented that red light for the battles about 15, 20 years ago, and it worked fantastically well. Because today, 90, well, 100% of all the bottles collected are 100% recycled. So it has been a fantastic success. So the idea of our group is to set up guidelines for sorting and guidelines for recycling, hopefully successfully.